15th Ward Alderman Raymond Lopez sharing an audio recording to make his case for the continued use of shot spotter. That is not fireworks. I know. That is 19 rounds being fired off in the 8th District. The Chicago City Council Committee on Police and Fire moved forward a measure that would give City Council a say in the continued use of gunshot location technology. The move comes despite Mayor Brandon Johnson's efforts to end the use of shot spotter after the city hosts the Democratic National Convention this summer. Our constituents, our constituents and our taxpayers and the people that live in this Chicago should be uh, just as important as the delegates and the DNC uh, and elected officials that are coming into Chicago. 24th Ward Alderwoman Monique Scott says if shot spotter is a tool good enough to use through the DNC, it's good enough to use for the citizens of Chicago moving forward. I live in a community that is plagued with violence. I am guilty of not calling the police. I hear them and I never think to call. It's just because it's become a norm. The ordinance says a full city council vote would be needed before shot spotter can be removed from any city ward. In response to the ordinance passing committee, a mayor's office spokesperson told ABC7, quote, Public safety is a citywide issue within the responsibility of the police department with oversight by the office of the mayor and cannot be effectively managed on a ward by ward basis in a way that undercuts that authority. End quote. We reached out to the company behind ShotSpotter about the city council's effort to continue partial use of the technology, but they declined to comment. The ordinance passed through committee by a unanimous vote. Now it goes before the full city council for more consideration. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.